welcome back everybody. High dive practice spot. Are you confident in your diving skill? Actually I'm not, but uh, should be sufficient. We're here in the uh, Zoro's domain. In the last part we made our way here, we found some more heart pieces, our skeletal, and I think we're doing pretty good right now. This is, uh, I'm Cow's Crazy, this is part number 15. You want to come over here and take this guy's diving rupee challenge game. 20 rupees. Okay. Pick up all the rupees I throw from here. You only have a limited amount of time. When you pick them all up, come back here and I'll give you something very nice. So, this is a necessary prize to move. The th this isn't just any mini game. This minigame is necessary to move the story forward. And look at that, we got a, got a whoopee right off the bat. The best thing about this is you can recoup some of your funds even if you don't win the game. But you should have no problem winning the game. Like, it's they give you plenty of time. Look at that, I did it with like 30 something seconds, well 29 or whatever it was. I had a good, decent amount of time to spare. The only crappy part is you have to run all the way back up there again. Like, why can't you just throw me my prize? You threw the rupees down. Just, like, you know, chuck my prize down. Why does he even have that game? Like, there are only Zoras here. Like, and if the game is for non Zoras. I don't get it. Do other, like, does the king of Hyrule, who's allowed in here, because nobody can get in here without uh, being connected with the Hyrule, Hyrule family, right? So do, like, other people come by here and play his little game? I don't, I don't get it. Does he have boobies? Or is that a female? Hmm. Anyways. What a graceful dive. Now please take this. This is a scale of our kind. With this, you can dive much deeper under the water. Nice. You got the silver scale. Silver. Indicating there could be... Hmm. It's like silver. They're not silver. Why would they call it silver? Hmm. Maybe there's a higher powered scale? Anyways, you want to dive again. Now you can dive much deeper. And as you can see, there's something over there. Maybe we can make a dive for it. And we can. Zoom. And we walk to a new another location here. There's something in the water. Look at that. We're at Lake Hylia. And there is something in the water. Oh, and we totally missed. We totally missed. All we have to do is go straight down. We totally missed. Well, I shouldn't say we, but I guess it's it's partly your fault, right? You're 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 doing this with me. You got an empty bottle. Hold it. No, it's not. There's actually something inside. But anyways, more importantly, we got a bottle. That's that's the most important part. So let's uh, check out what this bottle has to say. Cause there's something in it. I think that's the only time he doesn't dump the contents on the ground. Puts it right into his hand. Huh? Looks like there's something already inside this bottle. It's a letter. Help me. I'm waiting inside waiting for you inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly. Rutu. PS. Don't tell my father. Who the hell is Lord Jabu Jabu? Anyways, this is Lake Hylia, where we were trying to get to before, but I forgot about the fence. Now we are here. There's a building over there where the professor lives. There's not much we can do there right now. There's an island out there in the middle of the lake. Oh, I guess it's a lake. But really, like, I might call this a pond if I saw it. But. 
If they want to call it a lake, they can. A lake, you know, I I would envision a lake being much bit, much, much bigger. But maybe I just have, you know, a different sense of what a lake is, right? But before we go back, I ain't going back. Back to the future. We are going to do some more monotony. So, probably means some more edit time here. We're gonna come into the fishing hole. This is the worst part of the game. I hate this. I know there are people that devote their lives, that devote websites to the fishing hole. I hate the fishing hole. I hate fishing. I hate everything about fishing. I think just sitting there waiting for some weird piece of meat to grab onto its hook and die is not my source of entertainment. It's just another excuse to sit somewhere and drink beer. And you can basically do that anywhere. So, um, but anyways, for those that enjoy the fishing sport, we'll come here. And he says, well, do you want to go fishing? Just, uh, yeah, I guess we do. Oh, no, you don't have a rumble pack. No, we don't have a rumble pack. So that's just, that's just too bad. This time, no rumble for you. Okay, listen up. Yes. Okay, we don't need to know all that. Hang on, everybody. Um, I seem to be having a technical difficulty. Hang on one second. Okay, we're back. And I don't know what happened there, but I lost sound for a little while. Some weird reason, I like to... Uh, I've had some success from on top of this log here. I don't know why. Come on, sucker. You look... There we go. This one looks bigger, for sure. So, I think this one looks bigger, right? At least to me it looks bigger. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. We gotcha, we gotcha, we gotcha, we gotcha, we gotcha. Ooh, this one definitely looks bigger. Well, well, it's about six pounds. I don't think that's good enough. But we'll keep it for now. Let's try a little bit more here. You goddamn piece of shit, you mine. Come here. Come here, I think you're the big one. I don't know why, I just really got this feeling you're the big one. Oh, come on, come on, baby, you're mine, you're mine. Come the cows. Cows eat fish. Yes, they do. They're down by the river and they eat fish. They go down like a bear. Oh, man, cows eat fish right out of the water. Yes, they do. Oh, no. No. That didn't just happen. Oh my god, I hate this game. I hate fishing so much. A new record, huh? Six pounds is a new record? That's pretty damn sad. Yeah, and all he gives me is five bucks. Yeah, that ain't good enough. There's no way this is it, right? No, that's him over there, right? This one doesn't look big enough. Well, maybe he is. Man, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me, give me you, give me you. This could be it! Oh, this one looked pretty damn big! This is it! Wow, I got him! 
Oh my, I didn't think I was going to get them all, boy. Yes, I want to keep it. Holy cow, I hate this game. Let's get the hell out of here. The only, worst, the only sad thing is you have to come back here later. Spoilers. And yes, it's a nest. I hate that it's a necessary part of the game. Oh, man. It's necessary. It's required. You need to do it. Weigh my fish. Whoa! This fish is huge. It looks like a new record. It weighs at least eight pounds. Seriously. Okay, here's your prize. What the fuck? I hate fishing. God damn, I hate fishing. Where the fuck is my god damn heart piece? This ain't even funny right now. I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. This isn't funny. I'm starting to get a little ticked off. That was an eight pounder. That should have been good enough. I know the six pounder wasn't. I really hate fishing. I'm really starting to hate this. Nibble, nibble, dude. I know, no. I know this is you. I know this is you. This has got to be you. You are it. You are it. You are mine. Please, 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 please. I'm begging you. I'm begging you to be the t nine pounder, ten pounder, eleven pounder, whatever it takes to get the heart piece. Oh, that's gotta be it. It's a lunker. It weighs 12 pounds. Oh, thank God in the highest. Yes, I want to keep it. Oh my God, if this does not get me the heart piece, I, I think I will. I will jump over the counter and strangle the fisherman. I really will. I will, I will, I will strangle the fisherman. Weigh my fish so I can leave. Whoa! This fish is huge! It looks like a new record! It weighs at least 12 pounds, seriously! Okay, here's your prize! Swear to God, if it's five bucks... If it's five bucks... Your, your, your life is done, Mr. Fisherman. Yeah, you, you'll have bigger problems than just itching, I'll tell you that. Oh, thank God! Thank, thank you, thank you God in the highest, thank you anybody up above, praise any religion right now that just gave me that heart piece, because now we can finally leave. Oh yeah, you can't take the rod out with you, yeah, you, go, you gotta give the rod back, whoopsie doodle, I wanna quit, come back when you're older. And while we're here, um, we're gonna swim out to that little island way out there. We're here, so we might as well. This little island, this little island of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. You can see, the fairy's trying to point out something, but there's nothing here. It's probably because we just missed it, but it's okay. We can bring it back with the song. There we go. What the hell is that? That's what I really wanted, but it looked like a treasure chest was about to appear, but it didn't. That was strange. I know a fairy appeared. That was weird, that glowing on the ground. Never actually seen that before. That was quite... That was strange. Like, you know, this area will be useful in the future, 
But right now, that's all I really wanted was the golden skull. So. Uh. Wow, wa we wa. Anyways. Swim out to this island now. Actually, it's not really an well, it is sort of an island. Yeah! What the hell? That's the second one of these things. Oh, boy. Strange little. Come back across the bridge. Oh no, and look who it is. It's okay, you don't have to talk to him this time, but he will look at you. He'll look at you funny. And you know what? Just because I hate him so much. Oh, look at that. You can't even hit him. I'm trying to so bad. It goes right through his body. You damn immune bird. He's got immunity. He's a muley bird. Anyways, I'll digress. They really take the fun out of that, don't they? Maybe in the remake. I really hope in the remake they think of the hatred for that bird that many people have. And they allow us to do something. To kill him. I'd like to be able to kill him. Or injure him in some fashion. Whew. We're going back to the Zora's Domain. Now we can get back to the quest. Remember Princess Roto? Well, and her bottle. Well, she told us in the bottle that, uh, she was inside Jabu Jabu. And unless Jabu Jabu is some hot chick, I don't think I want to be inside Jabu Jabu. But, looks like we might have no choice but to go and tell the king. She told us not to, but, oh my dear sweet Princess Roto, where's she gone? I'm so worried. Oh, I think we actually, actually have to show him the letter. Ho! Oh, this letter is from Princess Roto! Hmm, let's see. She's inside, Lord Jabu Jabu? That's not possible. A guardian god, Lord Jabu Jabu, would never eat my dear Princess Roto. But since that stranger Ganondorf came here, Lord Jabu Jabu has been a little green around the gills. The evidence seems clear. Of course, you'll go find Roto. You can pass through here to the altar of Lord Jabu Jabu. I'll keep this letter. You keep the bottle it was in. Take it respectfully. Please find my dear Princess Roto immediately. Zor. This guy is fat. Look at that, and he's floating every time. That, Mr. King, please, hold back on the beans, man. Oh. Oh, that, that, that really stinks. Look at this. He can't even just scoot over. You tell me to move over on a couch, and I'll do it in two seconds. Even though, I'll admit, I got a few pounds on me. Okay? Uh, I, I got a few pounds that probably, you know, I shouldn't have, but they're there. But I, I ain't, I ain't like this king. Like, how is he in such bad shape? The rest of his people look pretty damn good. How come this guy's out of shape? What a fat, lazy king. I don't get it. Zora's Fountain. And... I don't know how much time I've used. Again, I... Boy, I'm just really not good with my time here. So, um, I'm gonna cut it here. And we'll see you next time when we inspect the Lord Jabu Jabu. Like a doctor would.